check in with Vanessa for a look at our weather. Thanks a lot, Dane, and good Tuesday morning to you. KQ2 meteorologist Vanessa Alonso here. I just want to give a big thank you to my KQ2 family and to you, the viewers of Northwest Missouri and Northeast Kansas. Just a few days ago, you can see the seal right there. I was just certified by the American Meteorological Society, one of the highest honors that this field we can get. So thank you all for supporting me. And it came on a good day because it's going to be an active weather day for us. Right now, we are waking up to cloudy skies on our KQ2 tower camera. Now, if you live in our northern counties like Holt, Atchison, Gentry counties in northwest Missouri, you're under a winter storm warning from now through 9 a.m. tomorrow morning because you could be seeing anywhere from five upwards to seven inches of snow over the next 24 hours. For the city of St. Joseph, including Buchanan, Andrew counties, Donathan, Atchison counties, and northeast Kansas, you're under a winter weather advisory beginning at 6 o'clock tonight, lasting through 9 a.m. on Wednesday, because you could be getting anywhere between two upwards to five inches of snow thanks to our next winter storm that will make a big impact on us, especially out on the roads. We're dealing with thick clouds this morning on our KQ2 high resolution max satellite and radar. All is quiet, but as I zoom this out, you can already see a lot of moisture up in the near the Gulf of Mexico, and we have a strong strong area of low pressure that is setting up. This is our next storm system. This is going to lift all of this moisture into northwest Missouri and northeast Kansas later on this afternoon. And with the cold air in place, we will be seeing that snowfall. It will be moderate to heavy at times. So again, if you live near St. Joseph or in the winter weather advisory area, you could see, be seeing anywhere from two upwards to five inches of snow. For our northern counties where the winter storm warning is, you could see anywhere to five plus inches of snow. And again, this is going to cause slick spots and impacts on the roads and highways. It is a cold start to our day. We are waking up to 9 degrees right now in Fall City, 14 right now in Mount City, 13 in St. Joseph, 18 in Cameron, 17 in Kansas City and Maysville. So parents, as you're getting your kids ready for the bus stop this morning, make sure that they are bundled up good as it's going to be a cold but cloudy start to our day. But as we go into the afternoon, we are going to see those chances for widespread snow to begin with a 30% chance at 4 p.m., going up to 90% chances by 8 o'clock. And again, this is going to cause some major issues on the roads as they're going to become snow covered pretty fast. And we're going to have those gusty northeast winds that is going to make visibilities low out there. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at your all important KQ2 hour by hour forecast. Again, it's going to be a quiet start to our day. We are going to see clouds increase as we go into the afternoon hours. By 6 o'clock, we're already going to start seeing that snow move from south to north. By 8 o'clock, most of the KQ2 viewing area will be seeing that snowfall continuing throughout the overnight hours. It will be moderate to heavy at times. This is something Mike Colton and I will be watching very closely. Keep it tuned to KQ2. 31 for your high today with cloudy skies early, then the snow moves in late. And then your all important KQ2 five to seven day forecast will rebound into the 40s by the second half of the work weekday with lots of sunshine and then a chance of rain in the forecast by Saturday.